Hi everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob with a PSA public service announcement just for you. So the next several videos that I'm gonna be doing are gonna be all on the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. So we're going to take this thing and we're gonna start off with some basic cuts and we're gonna do all the way up to some really, uh, some advanced stuff, well advanced for me, and we're gonna see how this thing stacks up stacks up see what i did there so if you happen to be watching these videos and you see something that you like check out the links in the description below you'll find a link for the atom stack a5 m50 pro a link to their website with some other great stuff from atom stack so with that let's get to the next video mm -hmm. For today's project, we're going to be taking the Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro and we're going to do some frosted white coasters. Mm -hmm. So this was done with a five watt. So um, there are a couple of different mediums that you guys can use in order to try and get the white. Um, there's really the only one that I found so far that works really well um, on the on the five watt is tempera paint. So this stuff right here, you can find this on Amazon. You can get it at a local Walmart. I mean, I mean it's non-toxic. It washes off with water. It, really, any tempera paint. Uh, this is just the one that I use. Okay. So um, the first thing we have to do is we need to run a speed and power test on your laser. So, or you do. So if I give you what my settings are, your, your laser, and I've said this in past videos, but I, I can't say it enough, your laser may be more or less powerful than my five watt laser. So my settings may get you close, but without running a speed power test, you're not gonna know the exact best settings on your laser. So what I've done is I've taken a glass coaster, I coated it in tempera paint, and I did a speed power test, and you can see that um, this right here is, is the best white that I can get, all right? Um, the rest of them are, are, are pretty grainy, um, but that one, and then it tells you your power down here and your speed up here when you, when you run the file. So you can go and you want the, the best white at the fastest speed and lowest power possible, all right? So for me, it was 90% power at 12.5 millimeters a second. That got me the best white on my laser. So, but I also wanted to try some different stuff. So I did, and I've seen this done on the 10 watt lasers. I used dry molly. Um, the dry molly doesn't come out white. I mean, it's, it's, it's silvery, it's very light. Um, so if you put the dry molly with the tempera, you can see that the tempera definitely is whiter, okay? So then I took chalkboard paint and I did a run on chalkboard paint and it kinda gets there here, but still not nearly as white as the tempera paint. So the tempera paint, it, it works best. Um, you can also use cold galvanized spray, but if you're using cold galvy, you're gonna need a 10 watt. You can't do cold galvanized spray with a five watt because it has to run at such a low speed and high power even with a 10 watt, five watt just can't get it. Now, it's even though it's slow, the uh, um, that is actually gonna be the whitest white that I've ever gotten, and that's the cold galvanizing compound, or cold galvy. Um, that stuff gets really white, but it takes forever. So for me, I just like to use tempera paint. Works great. So with that, I, I ran that did that on this glass coaster. So today we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys my method for applying the, the tempera paint to the coaster. Um, a lot of people use an airbrush, that's great. It puts on a nice coat. Um, I don't wanna do that every time I, I, I wanna use tempera paint. I don't wanna bust out my airbrush and then have to clean it afterwards. So here's what I do. I take three parts tempera paint, one part water, and I just get a little plastic 
hefty container, the, the you know, dishwasher, microwavable safe, not that that matters. But I get those with the lids because whatever I mix up, I can leave in there. I don't have to worry about it drying out and I can use it later. So all I do is I will take the lid off that. Now I'll take a blank coaster and what I do is I grab some painter's tape and, and I just put a piece of painter's tape on there and make a little tail on it so I can just hold it. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this in the tempera paint and get a nice smooth coating on it. I don't wanna dunk the whole thing because I don't want, I don't want tempera paint on the back side of the glass. It's okay if you get it on the sides a little bit, but not on the back because then it's gonna burn that and you're gonna get some shadowing and it's gonna throw it off. So mainly all we want is just to cover the front. So I'm gonna move the camera and I'm gonna show you how I, how I dip this in there and then we're gonna go ahead and burn one and you're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so here we go. You can get a close up of that. It's just a, a folded piece of tape and then I take the edges, you know, and just put it. So that way I can just dip it in there and I don't have to worry about getting paint on my hands or, or any of that. So all I do is I take that coaster after I've cleaned it really well to get any grease or finger oils or anything off of it. I just dip it in that paint. Just like that. And now I got a nice, smooth, even coat of paint. And I'll set this down, I'll let it dry, and we're gonna go ahead and burn it. Okay, so we have our image imported. Um, I went up here and you can see where I have changed uh, my settings. And it's 12.5 millimeters a second at 90% power. That's with my laser from my speed test. Okay, so 12.5, 90 millimeters a second. I have overscanning turned on. I always do um, 300 and we're going to go 304 DPI on this threshold. And okay. Okay, so now that I have my power and speed settings correct, all I need to do is make sure that I'm the right size. So these glass coasters are about 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters. So I change it to 85 point, you can just change it to 85.000. I don't know why it did that. Um, leave your aspect ratio locked and hit tab. So now we're at, and it, see, it brings me right back to 85.001. So that, I mean, that's fine. So that gives me about five millimeters, you know, two and a half on each side that I don't have to worry about going over the edge or anything like that. So we've got all that in. We've got our speed and power set. Let's move over to the camera. And we have our tile in. We have our laser focused and it is centered. So now all we've got to do is frame it. That looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. All right, guys, before we, I show you the final product on that, on that last burn, um, I want you guys, I've said this in past videos, I want everybody to learn from my mistakes. I need to learn from my mistakes. 
If you're gonna do the dip method with the, with the tempera paint, please get you some of these little reusable plastic containers. You can get them anywhere. They're inexpensive, washable, all that. Um, I, I learned to do that uh, instead of using my wife's casserole dish. That was a no-no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. So with that, um, here is the one that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video that I did um, with tempera paint. This is the one that I just burned, so you guys can see. So, the great thing about that, with, with the tempera paint, that warm water, a rag, the tempera washes right off. Uh, it's non-toxic, you can write down your sink or out in, you know, in the grass in your yard. I mean, it, I mean, it's nothing. But now, so you guys can see the difference. I mentioned cold galvanizing compound earlier. Now, you can't get it hot enough with the five watt laser using cold galvanizing compound. But if you have a 10 watt and you could spare the time because it's slow, very, very slow, you can see that the cold galvanizing compound, it, now this was a mess up. I, I had the DPI way too high, so you see these little black marks, but you see it is much whiter than the tempera paint, okay? Cold galvanizing compound, tempera paint. It's, it's much whiter, but you can't do it with a five watt. I, I've tried it, I've never been able to get it. Um, so tempera paint is definitely the way to go to get the white frosted look uh, on your glasses. It's not as bright as, as the cold galvy, but it is definitely white. So um, with that, you guys, uh, if you're looking for the coasters, there's a link to that down below. Uh, the, the tempera paint, you can find tempera paint at any uh, craft store. You can find it on Amazon. You can get it on Walmart. This stuff is super cheap. I mean, this is under $2 uh, at Walmart, um, and it goes a very, very long way. So... Um, you guys, I also suggest that if you're new to laser engraving, even though there's a, a safety shield on this thing to prevent the laser beams and all that from, from reflecting, when you're doing glass, that glass or acrylic, clear, clear acrylic, is going to reflect those lasers all, all over the place, all right? So make sure you guys get some good safety glasses and wear them anytime you're near your laser or looking at your laser. There's a link to the ones that I use down below. They're, they're these little guys right here. I mean, they're ugly, but you're not going to go blind. So with that, guys, um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll answer every single one of them as they come in. Um, please forget or don't forget to like uh, the channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button over there in that corner. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.